Hi guys. So in today's lecture, we're going to be learning about the Sutherland Hodgman polling clipping algorithm, polygon clipping algorithm. Before we jump into that, we're going to learn what is a polygon clipping. But for knowing polygon clipping, you should be knowing what a line clipping is. So if you don't know about what a line clipping is, we have a video and I'm going to add a link in the description below for that. Okay, so let's start. Assuming that you know what a line clipping is, a polygon is nothing but a collection of n number of lines. Therefore, we might think that the line clipping algorithm can be used directly for polygon clipping. However, when a closed polygon, like shown in this figure, is clipped with the collection of lines, the original closed polygon becomes a more open polygon. Uh, assume that you have clipped this. Assume that this is my window and I have left clipped it. So this region disappears and only this region remains and I haven't highlighted the, po the line between these two points and hence my polygon becomes open. However, thus we need to modify our polygon clipping algorithm because if our polygon clipping algorithm was complete, these points would have been joined since a polygon is always complete. Okay, so how do you go about it? Well, we have an algorithm put in place by Sutherland and Hodgman, which is called the Sutherland Hodgman poly polygon clipping algorithm. So there are four rules which you should know before you can address the Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm. Rule number one is if there are two points which are completely outside V1 and V2, V1 is outside, V2 is also outside, you don't save any points. Second, if V1, V2 is such that the line is going into the my window, so I have V1 outside, V2 inside, so I declare a point here called as V1 dash and I save V1 dash and I save V2. So this is A, this is B. C would be if both the points are lying inside V1, so V1 is inside, V2 is inside, I save only V2 because my ending vertex is V2. Similarly, if I have a line which is going out of my window, V1, so I have V1 inside and V2 outside, I declare a new point called as V2 dash, which is on the intersection of the line with the clipping window, and I save V2 dash. So I save V2 dash here, I save V2 here, I save V1 dash and V2 here, and I save nothing here. Okay, so just take a moment to analyze this and we'll head to how you can solve the problems using the four rules which we just learned. Okay, let's begin. So here we have a problem in front of us which needs to be clipped using the Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm. Okay, so first of all, we consider the points V1 and V2. Using the rule number, I'm going to keep it side by side so that it can help you. Using the rule number A, that both V1 and V2 are outside, we don't save anything. 
So we don't say we one, nor do we say we two. Okay. Considering the line segment, we two and we three, which is going from the inside. I mean, which is going from the outside to the inside. We take a point we two dash here, and we save we two dash, and we save we three because my rule number B states that when a line is going from the inside, from the outside to the inside, I save the point we one dash, and I save the point we two. So hence. Here, similarly, I'll save the point V2 dash and I'll save the point V3. Let us take the example of V3 to V4, which replicates the case number case number D, where my line is going from the inside to the outside. So in this case, I'll be saving only the point V2 dash, which here represents V3 dash. Okay, now let's take the example of V4 to V5, which is from the outside to the inside. So when I go from the outside to the inside, I save this point V4 dash and I save this point V5. So I'll save V3 dash here, I'll save V4 dash, I'll save V5. And considering the last line, V5 to V1, which is going from the inside to the outside, which replicates my case D, I only save the point V2 dash here, which in this case is this, which I will name it as V5 dash. So save V5 dash. Now let's clip them. First, save V2 dash. V2 dash was in this figure right here. Okay, now let's save V3. V3 was right here. So, okay. Now let's save V3 dash, which was right here. Now let's save V4 dash, which was right here. Now let's save V5, which was here. Now let's save V5 dash, which was here. So we join the endpoints, and hence we have got the closed polygon using the sutherland hodgman polygon clipping algorithm. So, hope you guys understood it. Please have a look at it once more. And thank you for watching once again. Please give me a like, guys, if you liked it. It helps me really going. And thank you for watching. Keep subscribing.